Scarborough history is Oak Ridge history and vice versa. That is a clip from a Channel 10 produced story, The Secret in Scarborough, Scarborough, excuse me, highlighting the Oak Ridge 85. Yes, in September 1955, 85 black students from the historic Scarborough community in Oak Ridge became the first to integrate a public school in the Southeast. The teachers that may be teaching that class really did not want me there. I did not involve myself in any activities at school outside of my classes. I did not join any clubs, any uh, anything after school. After you get to know the students in your class, they're just classmates like everybody else. Remarkable stories, and you can read more about them on WBIR.com. A display honoring the Oak Ridge 85 was recently unveiled at the Oak Ridge History Museum. And with that, I want to bring in Rose Weaver, the Oak Ridge 85 historian. Come on in, Rose. <laughs> she is uh, co-chair of the city's 65th anniversary celebration, and she also is with the Scarborough Community Alumni Association. And the goal really is threefold uh, for your your efforts. The first is you certainly want to honor the Oak Ridge 85. Yes, I do. And you, if you look at the back of my shirt, you will certainly <laughs> see how I'm honoring them. Uh, yes, um, all the names listed on right, your shirt. We want to honor them. They're saying 65 years later, but we found out that about 13 of them maybe or live right here in Oak Ridge or something like 30 some that we think that are still living and we want to honor them. We want to educate as well. These uh, young patriots, they contributed of their time, you know, back in 1955, they were teenagers, uh -huh. you know. And, and you want to see that become a part of the curriculum for yes. students across the state. Yes, uh, John uh, Spratlin, as well as Mr. Mike Carbello, they're working very diligently through the state to get it into the system. Matter of fact, they've already started teaching it here in Oak Ridge. Mm -hmm. So that's our effort. And not only here in the state, but we want it to go nationally so students will be aware of the history. Yeah, so a national effort for sure. I grew up in McMinn County, and I'm embarrassed to say I never had heard the story of the Oak Ridge of 85, and that's not okay. So hopefully your efforts will change that as you honor the incredibly brave students who really changed history. That's what we want to do. We want there to be a monument. We want the students here in the area. We've got nieces and nephews that are finding out and saying, Grandmommy, Granddaddy, didn't know you were important. You're like a movie star. You rock. <laughs> So we want to make sure that it's not only here locally, but it's nationally, and that these students that gave of their time, of their, made their sacrifices, will be known nationally. And then also to connect black and white communities together, because we're all a part of history. Absolutely, we are. If people want to learn more about your efforts, how can they do that? They can do that by contacting me. Uh, they can also go to the, we have a website, a desegregation website. They can contact me at rs underscore wvr at yahoo.com. They can go to the Oak Ridge History Museum and see the efforts that both me and Martin McBride and also the Celebration Committee has pulled together. Well, it is a pleasure to have you on the floor today. You Thank well. you. Thank you so Thank much. You. All the best to you. and.